Hey guys, in this session we would be learning about the basics of GitLab CI.yaml, how to read it and make some changes if the need arises. Now what exactly is .gitlab-ci.yaml? Well, for starters, it is a file with an awkward name to pronounce. Anyways, jokes apart, it is actually the lifeline and the heart of the continuous integration process. It is placed in the root of the repository and it actually contains the definitions of projects, pipelines, jobs and environments. The YAML file actually defines a set of jobs which uh, with the constraints on when these jobs should be run. The periodx YAML ha file has been configured and tailor-made to be run to run CI jobs consistently with the branching strategies that we have recommended for both Salesforce and Salesforce DX type of projects. So without any further ado, let's start analyzing the structure in some basic terms used in this YAML step by step. So first up is the image keyword. With the image keyword, we specify a Docker image which acts as an environment, a container on which all of the jobs that have been written inside this YAML are run. This container contains all of the tools and dependencies the jobs need to run. In Apiro DX, we have specific Docker images for different type of projects like for Salesforce projects, for Google projects and so on. Moving on, we have the stages keyword. This, now stages are steps that can be used by multiple different jobs. Specifying these stages allows us to create flexible and multi-stage pipelines. These stages are being used in every job. So you can see like this job has a stage of quality scan. Some other job has a stage of review. The exciting thing about stages is that these decide the actual order in which the jobs are invoked. So the jobs of the same stage are run in parallel while jobs of the next stage are run after the jobs from the previous stage have been completed successfully. The stages could be visually seen while the pipelines are actually running. So let me just go ahead and show you an actual pipeline. Here on the pipelines page, you could see a column named as stages and these are the stages we talked we earlier saw and all of the jobs that are in that in a particular stage coming up next are the variables now these variables are not different from the other variables we use in daily programming languages so these variables have been defined over here and are used in the jobs below these variables are shared between the jobs and are used to store non-sensitive project configuration. After variables, now we actually have the jobs themselves. So GitLab CI allows us to specify unlimited number of jobs and these jobs have specific kind of keywords which actually define uh, the behavior of it. First up is the stage as already discussed this defines the order in which the job would be run and then then the next up is the script keyword the script actually contains or defines a shell script which is executed by the GitLab CI runner which has been configured for this project. So if you see here these two commands would be executed one after the another and all of the job logs would be available on the job log page. Next, we have some of, the, some of the constraints that we could apply to the jobs. Some of them, uh, which we could see right here, are only an except. So only allows us to run a job only on some condition. So here we are running this job for only for the feature branches. And except, of course, as the name stage uh, states, is to tell the YML file when to not run the job. There are some other keywords also available. Like if you want to schedule a job to be manual, 
we add a when keyword then if we want to cache some data between two jobs we actually use the cache keyword along with the key and the parts that need to be cached and then comes the mighty dynamic environments these dynamic environments are used to spin up uh, spin up review apps dynamically and act the these act as a testing or staging environment before the code is actually moved to production another small tip if you are running these jobs and running a pipeline and if you want to comment some job instead of deleting it from the yaml you could simply add a period before its name and that job would be commented now because this is a plain text file stored in your code repository you can modify it and develop it according to the needs of your project to get started on having a gitlab ci.yaml for your own project initialize your project using adx init and the desktop app 